is your idea of life very different from where it comes from or are you two on the same page in terms of what you talk about or what you think about it will be so boring if we are both on the same page there will be no conversation only he will be like oh i think the blue is good i'll say yeah and that's it so no i thankfully we have we are we are uh, different enough um, and um, um to have a, a good conversation or debate or discussion uh, i have my set of um, you know likes and dislikes he has his own and uh, a lot of times we don't see eye to eye which i think is very good and healthy okay and uh, i don't know why you're not <laughs> looking very happy about it <laughs> i'm not look i'm, I'm <laughs> curious yeah, to you're know you're curious what no yeah because um, um but at the core of it you know uh, the core of it we are very similar in our views um uh, storytelling is a form of self expression we both agree to that uh not wanting to tell stories to cater to a particular segment um at the cost of stifling your self expression we both agree to that so at the core the our core values are very very same very similar but uh, the fun is in the disagreement uh, on the other things which which i think is very good healthy and um, keeps us going so um that's the bit on prakash <laughs> okay talking about prakash i'm sure a lot of people would be very curious to know how did you two meet in the first place you know where did the story of yours begin from <laughs> well you know he asked me this question before <laughs> taking the interview with no permission uh, um you know i can tell you a part of it Yeah. because i forgot to ask prakash if i should <laughs> talk about it or not and we started the interview but um, i'll tell you um, the thing that stayed with me the most and i think um, uh, my friends tell me that's also the reason why you know you guys got married and you know uh, is that when i started writing in bombay i remember i was working uh, for sharukh and um, in red chilies and uh, i joined as an intern worked with assisting farah and this and that and on the side i would write these stories and i was a struggling writer then and very mm. hesitant to show my stories to anyone uh, very insecure uh, very fearful of rejection of judgment and um, you know one day i got a call from a common friend and she's she'd read a few of my stories and you know you need to really uh, you're like so needy in that initial phase uh-huh. at least i was only give it to people who you know are going to be kind so i would just share my uh, stories with my friends who i know are going to be not too harsh although i'm hoping that they'll be honest so it is a very messed up state so she read a few of my stories and she thought they were really good so she was a common friend and she uh, prakash was looking for a new writer okay. like he wanted to work with upcoming new writers so she recommended my name and she said i've read this girl's story so you know you should read her stuff and uh, see what you feel so she called me and she's like you know uh, my friend is uh, he's a filmmaker and you know um, he's won this national award and he's done this morning raga and you know we were all like oh mm. you know it's really good and great and prestigious and uh then i was like oh my god but i don't think i'm ready <laughs> i don't think i want to show him what i've written and you know this is whole thing of i almost didn't go I was like and that that was and he was the first person who i officially met professionally to show my stories as a writer mm-hmm. and i was i still remember i was uh, sweaty palms and i was half uh, during while i was like reaching that i we met in prithvi theater actually the first time in bombay uh, and uh, literally when i was entering also i thought let, let me go <laughs> back so i still remember that first meeting and that was very very important uh, in in life as well um it was uh, that that he i met him and he read and he gave me some fantastic feedback and he really encouraged me he told me that you should write full time so that was the first um professional um, uh, encouragement direction uh, validation okay. uh that i got um from somebody and in that sense prakash is also a mentor because that relationship actually begun in that uh, manner it's almost 6 years or 7 years now i think to that and um, and yeah and then i worked with him over a couple of months and um, you know then we lost touch and then we got in touch again so um, that's how it it went but i thought that in retrospect i think 
that then of course it was not romantic at yeah, all yeah. and i was like no who's this guy why i'm not i'm going back but uh, i think in retrospect i think that is a romantic story for me right <laughs> so so yeah i haven't shared it with too many people so yeah interesting one <laughs> one evening at prithvi theater one yeah. evening at prithvi theater yes you can go hang out there uh, what <laughs> are, are you married you have a girlfriend <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> Uh, you you also began writing screenplays and stories for Telugu film now. Yeah. Size Zero was uh, your first outing in Telugu. Yeah. So how was that experience? Like, did you enjoy it because it was the first time in a te- uh, Telugu film industry? See, um, you know, in Hindi when I write my screenplays, I I'm, I'm very particular that I write my own story, screenplay, and dialogue. Mm. In fact, to the extent that I do not give out my scripts if my dialogues are not done. Okay. because i depend heavily on my language and my dialogues as i told you